Jean-Michel Basquiat always knew that he wanted to be a famous artist when he grew up. He was born and raised in New York City. His mom was Puerto Rican and his dad was Haitian. Together, they would listen to music, read poetry, and go to art museums. In his paintings, he uses a crown to represent important ideas or emotions. Here you can see he put a crown on top of a trumpet player. He really loved and enjoyed jazz music. He would also use a crown when he would sign his name on his artwork. Basquiat also loved to paint and draw people. Sometimes he would draw people he knew, people he saw on the street, or people he saw on television. He would draw them as he saw them or how he thought they were feeling. Lots of times he would only use a skull or a head to represent a certain person. Sometimes he would draw people he read about in books or famous people from the past. I got to see one of Basquiat's famous paintings when I went to the Seattle Art Museum. This is one of his untitled portraits. When I was there, what I loved the most was how many layers of paint he put on his artwork. You can tell that he worked quickly, but he would come back day after day and add more layers until he thought that his painting was perfect. You're going to be making a work of art inspired by this painting by Basquiat. There will be lots of different dinosaurs for you to choose. They are all just the outline of different types of dinosaurs. So choose your favorite and write your name on the back. Once you've picked out your favorite dinosaur, you need to start picking out your favorite colors. You really only want to choose about three to five colors, and you should choose colors that are next to each other on the rainbow. These colors next to each other are called analogous colors. You could also choose one extra special color that's across from your favorite colors on the rainbow, so that it adds a little extra pop of excitement. After you've written your name on the back and picked out your colors and your favorite dinosaur, it's time to get your pastels ready. You want to make sure that they're clean by rubbing them on a piece of scratch paper till they're nice and bright and they don't look dirty anymore. Next, you're going to start adding color and lines, texture, and patterns to your paper. I like to start by just outlining some of my favorite parts of the dinosaur shape. And maybe I can imagine how he would be walking or the type of direction he would be going. Sometimes I'll switch my colors up and maybe I'll add little zigzags or color in specific areas that I like. You can also drag your pastel on the side. Remember, pastels are much softer than crayons, so we want to be gentler with them. We want to go slow so that they do not break. And if you don't like using pastels, if you think they're messy or you're afraid that you're going to break them, you can use crayons instead. Remember, Basquiat's paintings have lots of color. He has a lot of exciting lines. Sometimes he colors in areas and will layer things on top of each other. You don't have to have your shapes or your patterns next to each other. You can layer them on top like you would wear a t-shirt and then a jacket on top and maybe sometimes a big coat on top of that. While you're drawing, you can think about all of the energy that Basquiat liked to draw and paint with. Was your dinosaur excited? Is your dinosaur happy? Is your dinosaur stomping loudly or is he walking quietly in the forest? Think about how your dinosaur is thinking or feeling and draw lines that match how you would like it to appear. And you can also add a crown on top of your dinosaur like Basquiat does. The last thing we're going to do to finish our drawing is to paint the whole paper. Remember, you have to use your paint and your water gently. You need to make sure that your paintbrush has been cleaned out between colors. But again, we're only trying to use three colors at the most when we're painting. So if you choose blue, you could also use purple and you could also use green. But you don't want to use something way across the color wheel like orange or red because those colors are not going to look nice when they mix together.
Be sure that you're using plenty of water. If you want your paint to be brighter, you can add more paint. And if you want your paint to be lighter, you can add more water. And you can paint right on top of your crayons and your pastels. They will stay exactly where you put them and the paint will not stick on top of them. They'll roll right off like a rain jacket.